You want to know something? It's so important to continually better your care for your animals and that's what all of these things are. Let's get into it. So the next step I'm taking in bettering my care for my animals is yes, grow lights. I want to add live living plants into each and every enclosure that I have because that is going to just make it that much better, way more enriching for the animals as well as provide them with proper air quality. Yes, you need a lot of airflow in cages, but plants will also really help out and give the animals something nice to just smell and it also in fact helps with humidity. And that's the important thing guys, continually advancing your care for your animals. Never be satisfied with what you're doing. And I talk more about this on my podcast, link up here for future episodes. Go subscribe to the new channel, you really won't be sorry because it's it's got some epic info in there. Ugh! There's like so many freaking layers of plastic. This is not the best environmentally friendly packaging. Ugh! More! Okay, finally, there's the light strips. Let's get them fixed to the enclosures. And let's start by continually progressing and adding new things into the animal enclosures just to make that much better. Yes, they need lighting. Yes, they need UVB. Let's work on it. Like seriously, that's like a hundred layers of plastic and I'm still not... There we go. Now I've got to the lights. Like seriously, why waste so much plastic? We gotta reconsider the way we package things for sure. Well, yes, that's the problem with having all these things that I'm buying for my snakes. So much trash! So right there I have all the lights that I purchased. They are 1400 lumens and 6500 Kelvin. So that means they'll be perfect for grow lights for most species of plants. Let's set them up now. Obviously if you're busy putting light setups in a venomous snake enclosure, I'd highly suggest removing the snake first because yeah, it's a bit of common sense. Because if I stick my hands in there busy putting the lights set up, yeah, it's not going to work so nicely. And there we go, just like that we have, oh sorry guy, we have little Cape Cobra there. Ain't you cute? See why I'm getting him out? Because he's venomous and if I stick my hands in his enclosure, he would most likely not be too fond of that and who knows, he may even give me a love bite and we don't think that's particularly lovely, so in the tub he goes. Okay, so in order to put up these lights, I have to take off these little clip things and then mount those clips to the ceiling of the enclosure first. So just like that, these little clip thingy majiggies, you can screw through them, mount them on there, and then once they're mounted on the top of the enclosure, you can just clip the light in and obviously connect it to power and such like that. Such like that, I feel like my English needs a big improvement. Let's keep working on that, Bryce. Don't worry, you you don't only speak one language, so English, eh, need to get better at it. Houston, we have a problem. So basically, as you can see here, the cable for the connection is running flat, obviously. So you can like put this through the ceiling if it were on a roof or something. My cable's running on the top of the enclosure, so it won't be flush against the enclosure if I have to make it come out like that. So what I'm going to do is cut the little sides of this little steel frame here and then bend it down so the cable can come out. Because for every problem, there is a solution. You just gotta think about it. So take side cutters, snip, snip, and then basically just pull that off so it can come out all nicely and then you can connect it to the connecting block and make life so much easier. So just testing to see if this light actually works. So I've connected it up before I've like secured it in place obviously just to make sure it works and boom it works. So that's going to make the enclosures really really nice. It's going to be enough grow light in there. I'm so stoked, can't wait to get plants in here, but it's gonna be a lot of wiring now. Ish, let's get to this. Ish is a South African term meaning like hectic, I'm pretty sure. 
Now look at that! Still gotta fix that horrible noise, but I think the enclosure over here is looking pretty stunning if I do not if I do say so myself. So let's get to the rest of them. 12 more to go, or 11 more to go in fact. How cool does that look? Oh, this looks so incredibly amazing. I just can't stop staring at the, the screen of the camera because I, I'm looking at the light behind me in these cages and I'm just like, boof! I'm blown away. These are incredible lights. These lights are actually here because I want to grow some live plants and in order to do that you need lights that are about 6500 Kelvin, which these are, as well as lights that are about quite a few thousand lumens. These are 1400 lumens, which basically means the, the depth of how far away you can grow your plants away from the lighting. So if it's not that strong, then you have to bring the light closer. And there's a whole bunch of things and reasons that light is like really important for your animals as well. If you think about it, light is energy and energy just makes you feel good. If you are feeling all depressed in that, what helps you? Natural sunlight. If you go out in the sun, you just naturally feel more energetic and you feel more awake rather than being stuck in a cold, dark room. The sunlight has so much effect on our bodies, bodies because it emits UVB, full spectrum lighting, as well as um, infrared heat. So there's just so much. Light is an incredible science. And if you want to learn more about that, my friend Dylan recently did a video on this linked up here or links down in the description about light and the different spectrum of light and what you need to grow plants, UVB for your animals. So at the end of the day, you don't need light per se. Many your animals will survive without it, but they will not thrive because light is energy. We need to start thinking about providing everything for our animals, including proper airflow, plants, UVB, everything, full spectrum lighting. Our animals need all of it, as well as infrared heat. So, I'm super stoked about this. I'm not going to show you the full room just yet with all the lights on, but basically you can see it's looking really good. Just to break it down, one of those lights over there, that little thing there, is equal to the whole room light basically that's above my head here. That's why I have these fancy little camera, where's this off button? These fancy camera lights to s brighten up everything, otherwise it's gonna be way too dark in here. So that's why I have those lights on because I need them to see. And these lights are just so incredibly amazing. So how cool is this? I know it's a weird angle, but check here. My spider ball python or bumblebee ball python, Mrs. Thumper over there, has decided to bask underneath the LED light right as I set it up. Kind of weird, right? I know she constantly loves climbing. She hasn't been climbing in winter though, which is kind of strange. But now that I've provided this light, she straight up went under the light. It's like she's basking, but I suppose it's because light is energy and energy gives you life because that's basically what it does. And no, it's not UVB, so she's not getting UVB rays, but it's a spectrum of grow light that will be able to grow plants. So I'm sure there's something that will do for her body that's positive. So. Why not provide it? And it looks cool. It makes your setups look like way, way better. Like, check at that. Incredible. Yeah, there's nothing in there. So let's go back to here. Incredible animals. 